Hello, hi everybody, and welcome back to part 32 of the Bully playthrough. Hey, we haven't checked in with Mr. Galloway in a while. We probably should, given his history with, like, alcohol and other things. <laughs> because we're concerned for our teacher. We want to be a caring student that looks out for the people who teach us. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Mr. Galloway, should you really be doing that? Oh, Jimmy. No, I suppose not, but life is unfair. You promised Ms. Phillips. Oh, God. What kind of world do we live in where I get punished for a minor indiscretion and Hattrick gets away with taking bribes from his pupils? He does? Yes. He sells advanced copies of tests to the sons of his rich friends and nobody says a word. Wait, what rich friends? Well, Darby Harrington, for one. I can't believe he's selling tests. What if I got evidence of him doing this? <laughs> then I'd never need to drink again. All right, let me see what I can do. That was a kind of interesting thing when the cutscene ended, like Jimmy was in super slow-mo. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but that's just the way they left it, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Excuse me, Lola? <laughs> <laughs> but we have an asshole teacher to punish. Yes. Mr. Hattrick is quite an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> We've already destroyed his house by, like, smashing up all the glass and stuff. This is something that Mr. Galloway probably should have been like, Hey, Jimmy, did you know he's, like, selling tests to kids? Like, immediately. Just immediately. If we had, if we had yeah. known this earlier, we could have taken him down so much quicker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the cash, chaps. So I got this camera, and I'm going to be taking some pictures of some evidence. Hey, Lola, how'd you get there? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Lola's really fast. She does get around, after all. <laughs> she certainly is fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, leave me alone, Jock. We made out a few parts ago. Come on. <laughs> Or wait, was that the dark-haired guy? No, it wasn't the ginger. It was the darker-haired guy, Kirby. Yeah. My bad. We haven't made out. Don't tell Kirby what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope he shows up. I need to get my grade up. Don't worry. He'll be here soon, I'm sure. Do you have my cash? Yeah. Did you bring the goods? So scandalous. Ooh. <laughs> oh shit, so sneaky to follow the prep out. What a scoop! <laughs> we got all the big deets, the big details. <laughs> I don't know, it's like 10 p.m. I'm tired. 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, again, I just got off of a con weekend, so I feel ya. <laughs> There you are, sir. Of course, I trust you have my fee. I've got Daddy's checkbook with me. Ooh, Daddy's checkbook. <laughs> See you in class. <laughs> I love how he says, like, See you in class, and says it in, like, the most pompous voice. <laughs> So, fun thing, um, in Bully Scholarship Edition... Alright, actually, I'm, I can't... I'll, I'll talk about that later, because we haven't gotten to the end of this mission yet, but... Uh, it's just worth mentioning that Mr. Hattrick is actually a teacher in Bully Scholarship Edition, because you can actually go to math class. Yeah. And considering the outcome of this mission, um, it's kind of interesting that he is still a teacher when you go to math past this mission. <laughs> Yeah, like, you still, like, you still see him around. Again, Scholarship Edition came out after. It's just, like, Scholarship Edition came out after, so I guess they didn't anticipate that or think of that in the plot, but, uh... Yeah. <laughs> still interesting, considering what's coming up. You know, he drinks on school grounds. Think of the children, Dr. Krabblesnitch. Drinking? 
I will terminate the employment contract of any staff member found corrupting children. Morality is the most important lesson we can teach the youth. Is that so? Then you might want to look at these. What's this? It's that fat, evil hypocrite selling test answers to rich kids. Fire them. What? You took pictures? <laughs> and to think I trusted you, hat trick? You're fired. But I... 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 Bye-bye, fatty. <laughs> And as for you, Galloway, there better not be anything to that drinking business. And Mr. Hattrick's fired. I, my favorite <laughs> part of that is that he doesn't deny no. that he did it. And he no. just says, you took pictures? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, in a way, he's admitting that, like, yeah, he did it. So what? You took fucking pictures. <laughs> Mr. Hattrick, you could have denied plausibility. He could have been handing you cash for any number of reasons. Maybe you had to buy some school products. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what school products? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us. I tried that when father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it, they've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes, it's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us, apart from them. Oh, yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la-dee-da. Now he tells us. <laughs> you are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. Wait here, I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. You know, we spent all this time winning over all of these cliques, and they are so easily manipulated. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's something that, like, occurred to me in my uh, most recent playthrough. Everyone is just so easily manipulated by, like, everything. <laughs> After all the shit we've been through, all the stuff we went through, and it's just like, they all automatically assume that I put rats in the library, that I burned down the gym, that I stole the trophy. What the hell? What do I have to gain? Just because Gary says something in your ear, you believe him? Come on. Come on. <laughs> we've been through so much. Uh. After all that we've been through, you do this. <laughs> Alright, Vance. Did you guys steal the Preppy's trophies? No way, man. After the townie's been saying all that stuff about Lola and made Johnny crazy, we don't care about those stuck-up jerks. The townies? Really? Yeah, and Johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore. But since you got him out, I'll let you walk away from this meeting. Well, since I already beat you, I guess I believe you. And that right there! We just busted Johnny Vincent out of the asylum, and he says we're no friend of his? What? Come exactly. on! Exactly! That's exactly what we talked about! We saved your click leader, and now you wanna fucking betray us like this? Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Fuck off with that noise. Bullworth is a trash heap that needs to be nuked from orbit. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Anywho, the townies have ended up inside of this warehouse, so let's see what they're up to, huh? Got sort of a stealth section here, kind of, but not really. If they catch us, we can just beat them up, really. Yeah, you don't get kicked out, you can just beat them up. You don't want to get caught going up the stairs, that's the thing. Like, you don't want to get caught taking the picture. So you can get away with, like, Sucker. getting seen in the first level. Luckily, Soliton Radar, I'm the perfect fucking expert when it comes to dodging these guys. <laughs> <laughs>
you just imagine the look on their face when they get another crate of rats? <gasps> <laughs> All the little nerds running around screaming like girls. <laughs> Hurry up! Can't be late for the party at the docks. All right, come on! They're burning those trophies down at the docks. And they definitely took the trophies. Aw, shit. Oh, snap. So now we're going to go to the docks, which isn't too far from the warehouse, and see what's going on with the burning trophies. Why would they do the rat thing twice? I mean, if it was fun the first time. I guess. <laughs> But that just means I have to kill a whole bunch of innocent rats again, and I will not stand for that bullshit. Right. <laughs> so this is my favorite thing. It doesn't matter if they see you at this point, so it's like, I just took the go-kart and I was just like, eh, I'll beat them to where they're going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Man. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> he just went flying! <laughs> Thanks for popping in. I'm surprised you don't fail the mission for that. <laughs> oh shit! Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the go-kart so much, man. <laughs> it is so great that I got this thing now. It makes <laughs> these missions so quick and fun. It's great. <laughs> But uh, I guess uh, Darby's not getting that trophy back. Uh. Now the rich kids have to learn what it's like to work for your achievements. <laughs> work for it. <laughs> All those accomplishments up in a puff of smoke. Oh, boy. Mommy and Daddy can't save you now. This is the real world. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I have to go back to the boxing gym, so I'll just cut to it because it's a pretty long trip. Well, Popper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fund babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I like, like rich snobs in plays and stuff because i get to do that stupid laugh it's awesome so you've played a rich <laughs> snob in a play before is what you're saying yes and it was the best thing because i got to hold my chest and go <laughs> touche that sounds amazing how gauche of you oh my god <laughs> <laughs> hey we're back at zoe's place let's hang out with her some more Hey, what you looking at? Hey, Zoe. You wanna have some fun, tough guy? What kind of fun? Not that kind. I only date older men or junkies. They're so <laughs> romantic. Come on, what's wrong with me? <laughs> well, everybody hates you. You're a little twerp. You dress terribly. But apart from that, nothing. Oh, okay. Good. Why don't we play a little game? Come on. By older men, I hope you don't mean Mr. Burton. Hey. Come on, we're going to the Spencer Shipping Warehouse. Oh, it's a date. That's so cute. Isn't it great we get to go to the same place twice in one day? Yep. All right, Jimmy, here we are. A warehouse full of expensive looking junk. It makes it much more satisfying that all this is Spencer Shipping. 
Wait, isn't Tad's last name Spencer? Yup, and now we're gonna play a little game. Whoever smashes up the most stuff wins. Time to get destroying. Yep. So here for the object of this game is that you want to smash mo the most expensive stuff. It's pretty easy to break like the chairs and the fountains like Clement's doing in this um, clip. So that'll rack you up a lot of points. You gotta be quick about it because Zoe's gonna be gunning for that stuff too. And if she gets a higher score, well, I don't know what happens. I don't know if we actually fail the mission. I've never failed this no, before. No, you can, um, if you don't get enough, you can retry the mission again the next day. So you fail the mission, but you can still do it again. Like, it's an optional thing. Okay, okay. Yeah. Whatevs, then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I am the Great Clement, and I will destroy everything super quickly. <laughs> yeah, and you do want to be super quick about it, because Zoe will catch up to you. Breaking glass is also great for points. Oh, glass is like the best when it comes to money. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not great for Jimmy's hands, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, look how much you're racking, like $50. Oh, those sofas, like, sofa chairs, $100. Yeah. That's how strong Jimmy Hopkins is. He kicks a fucking sofa. He kicks a chair, and it just destroys, just bursts into like a whole bunch of bits and then that's it. It just disappears from the face of the earth. That's how strong Jimmy Hopkins is. It just turns into dust, just <laughs> You know, why, why did Thanos have to go after the Infinity Gems in the Marvel movies? All he really needed to do was find Jimmy Hopkins because as soon as Jimmy Hopkins touches someone, poof, they just evaporate into dust. It's perfect. I think Jimmy is Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> He dominates, like, think of it, the clicks are stand for each of the infinity stones, and he dominates all the clicks! <laughs> oh my god, turns, oh my god. And turns Bullworth into dust, because he hates the town. Oh shit. Da, 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 <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> that does put a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. One thing I've never tried doing is like punching Zoe out and knocking her out. I, I think that will fail the mission. I think that would, yeah. <laughs> I mean, imagine that if you could just like incapacitate her, make her like hold her sides and like lay there, and then you could just destroy everything while she's laying there. <laughs> oh my god. That would be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jimmy is not a fair player. No, Jimmy plays rough. He likes it rough. Well, apparently so does Zoe, because she just dates junkies. Well, actually, going back to the knocking out thing, like, I feel like if you punched her, she would have liked it and be like, Oh yeah, keep going. Let's keep going with this game. You're so tough. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> so Zoe's got a bit of a kink, huh? <laughs> Zoe is kinky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so you have a lot of time with this mission, about like four to five minutes. And, uh, as you can see, I pretty much got, like, almost double her score, so I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm doing pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Just wait for the clock to run out. Yeah. I think Zoe got stuck on something. I think that's why we haven't seen her score up any points, because I think she's literally stuck on a wall or something. I think I, I catch her in, like, a few seconds. Yeah, there she is. She's staring at the glass. <laughs> she, she just like stared at the glass and decided to kick it at the last second. <laughs> Do I kick it? Her Did you see her arms though? They were like twitching and shaking. <laughs> Enough! You win! You sure know how to have a good time, Zoe. This is the best date ever! <laughs> It's like Zoe was like a hummingbird, and her arms were just going... Arr. Yeah. <laughs> also, fun fact, uh, this warehouse, if you remember all the way back in Chapter 1, when we did Halloween, this warehouse will actually hold all of the gravestones if you didn't take them out during Halloween. So that's a collectible you can rack up in the warehouse when you're destroying everything. And then you'll have the gravestones show up in your dorm, that, like I do, and... Uh, 
Look at that amazing collection of pictures of girlfriends. <laughs> and the panties. You're forgetting the panties. I think that's the <laughs> that's the jackpot right there. That's like proof. <laughs> Any other guy goes into Jimmy's dorm and it's just like, whoa, teach me, Jimmy Hopkins. Teach me. How do you do it? <laughs> You don't look like Brad Pitts. What's your secret? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, folks, come back for part 33. Shit is going to hit the fan. You don't want to miss it. Oh, yes, it does.